Hi everyone, this video is to help you navigate the cell division gizmo, which is the assignment that you're working on. Um, to do that, to get to the gizmo, you go to explorelearning.com and you log in using your Moodle username and password and find your biology class and the cell division gizmo. Once you launch it, it should look a lot like what you see on the screen right now. This video hopefully will help you navigate the gizmo and get the most out of the concepts. So if you remember in 6.1, the assignment prior to this one, you learned about the difference between mitosis and meiosis. So just a quick review of that. Meiosis is a process that occurs in the human reproductive organs. And what ends up happening is that a cell divides and the resulting division is a haploid cell or a gamete, um, a sperm or an egg cell. So when a sperm and egg cell fuse, they create a zygote um, or an embryo as it grows. So that's the process of meiosis. Mitosis, however, occurs in your other body cells. And it is when a cell divides, usually for growth and repair purposes. So one concept that can be a little confusing confusing that I want to illustrate here is a difference between a haploid and diploid number. Because in meiosis, the resulting cells are what you call haploid. And in mitosis, the resulting cells are what you call diploid. So here on the left-hand side, we see a human and a human cell. And we see that a human cell usually has 46 chromosomes represented by these colorful Xs here. Um, this is a diploid cell. This would be like a skin cell or a blood cell. Um, a gamete, an egg cell or a sperm cell, would have half these, this number. So a haploid, human haploid, 23 chromosomes. And the reason for that is when the sperm and the egg cell fuse, you don't want 46 chromosomes plus 46 chromosomes. You want the haploid number to equal what a human has, which is 46 total. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, here on the right-hand side, this image that you're seeing is the comparison. This is a nematode or a worm. So it just so happens that a nematode has four total chromosomes as their diploid number and their gametes are two as their haploid number. I hope that kind of makes some sense. Um, this gizmo, as I said, will be dealing with mitosis, cell division. So you'll see here some of the controls that I want you to understand. Um, here is the cycle length. So adjusting that depend, dep makes the cell divide more quickly or more slowly. Um, here you can press play and the cell will begin dividing. Depending on whether or not if you have the magnify not checked, it when you cursor over, it will not show anything. But if you check magnify, if you cursor over, it's going to show you a magnified version of that cell and the process that they're in. On this side, you're going to see this description pane right here. Making sure that you navigate through and read all of this information very carefully is important and looking at the images for each phase of mitosis. The gizmo might ask you to use the table tab or the um, graph tab. So when it does, you know where to find that information. It will show you how many cells are in what phase at what time. You can always pause it, play, or reset as well, as I just showed. So one other important concept to come away from this gizmo with is the understanding of the difference between a chromosome and a chromatid, which can be confusing. So I have another little image here that I want to show you. Um, so understand that chromosome is made of DNA. So here before mitosis, we have an image. This is one chromosome also one chromatid. So this is before mitosis, what a chromosome looks like. As the cell enters into preparing for mitosis, the DNA must replicate because we end up with two identical cells, right? So we need double the DNA. If we split the DNA in half, that would not be a good thing. So before we go into mitosis, the DNA replicates. And here we again have one chromosome attached by a centromere. 
and there happens to be two chromatids in this. So this is after the DNA replication. And then the cell goes through mitosis and the chromosome is separated at the centromere and we end up after the mitos mitotic division, after mitosis, you come with, again, with one chromatode, one chromatid or a chromosome. I hope that helps make some sense. If you have any questions as you're working through this gizmo, please feel free to contact me. You have my email and the contact of the class. Good luck.